Christ. And the rain finally arriving. Mm -hmm was bound to happen. That was a long stretch of dry and yeah. mostly Glad. sunny weather around here. So now dealing with some showers, a few weak thunderstorms with this front. Also saw some rain last night and for parts of eastern Nebraska, mainly around Platte and Polk counties, they saw some really heavy rain. Could be around or upwards of two inches from that first round of rain. We have our own showers going on right now, including some lightning. Not a lot showing up, though, at the moment. Luckily for most of Platte and Polk counties, they're getting a break for right now, but there were some reports of localized flooding around Columbus. So we have our rain moving through right now, and it looks like it's going to move out, you know, in the next couple of hours, just based on the speed and the trajectory. But we'll see more rain, more showers and storms build on the back of this and work their way through. So really periods of rain today. Maybe not constant, but certainly off and on through at least late afternoon, depending on your location. I think by this evening, the metro gets a break, but then another wave that rolls through tomorrow. Even better chances of heavy rain and maybe some strong to severe thunderstorms, especially if you are in Iowa. So here's our front, and it looks like it's moving west to east, but really all it's getting done here is it's getting stretched out across the central, the northern plains, up through the Great Lakes, even as far north and northeast as Hudson Bay. It will get swept out of here tomorrow. Big upper level wave just now starting to work into the Pacific Northwest will continue to intensify as it works uh, into the central United States. Right over us by tomorrow and by tomorrow afternoon and evening, that will mean heavy rain and stronger too. Like I said, maybe some severe thunderstorms, but a better chance in Iowa than in eastern Nebraska. So we're cloudy right now. There is a steady rain out at Epley, 73 degrees, just a light north wind at 5 miles per hour. Behind that front, you see the cooler temperatures, 57 Pier, 56 Rapid City, 59 in O'Neill, warmer, more humid ahead of the front. So we watch out for these showers, and they'll be off and on all day, right around the lower 70s by noon. It will be warmer to the south. You'll escape some of the clouds, some of the rain showers, and have some of that warm air in place. Another round of showers and storms for this afternoon. Highs, I think, around the metro, really only reaching the mid-70s, but notice Beatrice Falls City showing up low to mid-80s. Could even hit the upper 80s in a few spots down there. We're mostly cloudy into this evening. Temperatures right around the upper 60s to near 70, but then round two for tomorrow. So that's why we have the severe outlook here. The slight risk mainly centered around Iowa, but the Omaha metro is a part of that. Will be more of a breeding ground for these storms as the secondary front develops and swings through tomorrow afternoon. Hail and wind will be the primary hazards. Cannot rule out an isolated tornado with any severe storms tomorrow, though. A lot of directional wind shear, the change in direction as you go up in the atmosphere with those winds. So good chances of heavy rain here. Could be some flooding in spots. Still a chance of a wraparound shower around low pressure. Wednesday, we're at 80, mostly sunny. Thursday, 84. Friday, another round of storms for Saturday, but it mainly looks focused on Saturday night, so the weekend looks okay at this point. All right, sounds good. Thanks, Kyle. You got it.